Okay. Uh, normally I would have waited for the song to finish, but it was on its second loop, meaning halfway through. And uh, there's been enough waiting. All right. Let's put that away. Continue with getting revenge on the genie boss. Um, I have this up for a reason because I thought I could show <laughs> I could show some some progress here. And don't worry, this this isn't gonna be. Does it capture my? Yeah, it captures my cursor. Yeah, it's not gonna be nine hours long. It's just how I have it set up with um, the footage for each game here. And I just cut out parts uh, that I'm, I'll use. Damn, I cut a lot from the final boss there. Oh god, I'm only on several, zero 04 here. There we go. Close to 10 hours. Um, the purple uh, things here are just the lyrics, so top one, Japanese, bottom, English. And uh, the colored here is just to show, like, the covering the games. Um, they These have no purpose at all. They're just blue for 01, yellow for 02, red for 03. Oh god. More than half of 03 is gonna be Omega. Oh, and. As you can see, some of zero. Hold up. I think I did a misclick there, but it's fine. <clears throat> As you can see, some of zero, the end of zero one is heading into zero two. So I'm gonna cut. Probably gonna cut uh, the fight part of the final boss here. Cut it up a bit, and then do the final boss, and then. Zero two is not going to cover a lot. I mean, I managed to get. I managed to do the thing, same thing here, in my last one of these, but with a song that's like a minute shorter. How long is this one? Oh damn! It's more than a minute shorter. Yeah, so I covered like I covered the cutscenes for Maverick Hunter X, X3 on PS1, X4, and X6 because X6 opening shows events of X5. I covered all that, picked out um, events to show in about around two and a half minutes. And this being like over four minutes should be uh, shouldn't be too bad. I really don't like <laughs> how the final boss is covering half of it, but I like it though. It turned out pretty good. Well, then again, zero three. You're you're not gonna remember the two first parts of the final boss. You're gonna remember the third part. 
But this is right at the end of the game. And it covers more than half. Yeah, that doesn't seem right at all. Uh, maybe I'll have to, like, move this closer here. I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Let's, uh... So the beginning is, like... Um, just like the preview, I haven't changed anything here. Yeah, right here is where new stuff is coming. Just to show some gameplay. I don't know about that effect I used there. Yeah, those last two clips haven't really been... I didn't mix them too good. Oh yeah, what makes this worse is... Um, I recently moved all this, like this whole part here. All of this started here, I think. Yeah, with that. Psh. So before I had um, this part. Start there. And looking at looking at how it's going into zero two, the zero two section. Yeah, it was worse before, so I pretty much had to do this. But I like how it turned out, so it's fine. Yeah, this is just taking the part in the Sierra Collection intro, where each of them show up. <laughs> that looks ridiculous in the gameplay. Yeah, obviously this isn't my gameplay, because I'm not going through the games again this soon. I was drained at the end of Zero Four. Yeah, I wanted to have one of, like, showing each, showing each of, um, his colored forms. But I might need to cut two of them to make more room before Zero Two. Yeah, I haven't really worked on the timing here, but I did manage to time this. <laughs> this part's gonna be be fitting to show El Piso because, I mean, if you decide not to chase your dreams, he chased his dream of being powerful. So, oh yeah, and speaking of the subtitles. I wanted this, like, I wanted this part here to show, like, here, because it's fitting. But this is, this is the last, last thing you see before the credits in Zero Two, meaning, yeah, I have to put it, like, he here to get the events before that part. And this is just, I have it here at the, for now, just the beginning part of Zero One, the intro stage opening. Yeah, this is just, I just have it here for now. How the hell am I going to cover Zero Three in this short time? I'll find a way. And here's where Omega comes in. Yeah, 
When I saw this gameplay, I knew I had to go with this part here, because... As you can see, his health bar, or Omega's health bar, is... One pellet above his full health bar, I think, unless he has three. And... Um, yes, yeah, Hero took three hits in a row, so he has two pellets. I just loved how fast he took out Omega here. Oh! Um, I've edited this up a little bit to make it, uh, like... Uh... Turn out better than it originally did. But, like... I pretty much timed these parts, like, perfectly. Or, no. I got the idea to time it, like, with each of them appearing with the different instruments. Because I actually sort of timed each one on accident, so I just made it more... like, more... better timing. So this part right here is just um, timing when each of them appear with a different fitting instrument. I love that. And then on to zero four. And because of the reason why the text is different from here to here is because this is how I had it before. And I haven't like added the Japanese subtitles here or changed from uh, from this black outline look to the green one. Yeah, I still need to do that. And zero four, I haven't done. I haven't gotten to yet. Um, I decided to go for Omega right after making the op like the intro part. Because, I mean, it's the most memorable part of the series. Like, to most. <sighs> so I decided to focus on that. And then for the ending, I went with uh, this clip here from the commercial for Zero Four. Along with. the last image you see in Zero Four. Along with the Zero series as a whole. And when, I, when I edited this part, I got sad. Like when I got the clips or looked into the ending part of Zero Four, I got sad. Because. Oh, it really sucks, isn't it? <laughs> At least he went out fighting, believing in what he believes in. Man. You know, I should have expected it, because Zero is just so awesome. Uh, you, you don't need to be up there, so let's put you down here. Yeah, I pretty much just... <laughs> this is probably the highest I've gone up here, because I have... Oh yeah, let's show this. This is pretty <laughs> interesting here. So to make it more, like, more... Well, let's begin by showing if I move this here. Yeah, if you look at Harpuya flying, you can see the diff. 
As for this one... Oh wait, no. Um, this one is more to help with this one here. Let's show... Yeah, let's show with... Uh, oh, hold up. Go, go, quiet. All right, thankfully that didn't take too long. Oh yeah. I was going to show why <laughs> why uh of course. Um well, let's show exactly what this covers. Wait, which one is it that has the mask? Okay. So as you can see, it's just a mask. Um, well, it's pretty much just here to have... Because the only things that move in this, like, in this part of the fight or whatever is uh, the fiery background, uh, the Dark Elf, X, and Harpuya, like Fefnir, I think his name is, and Leviathan, and Zero. Well, Zero moves with his um, charging, but it doesn't reach up high. So I only cover the part that the parts that move, which if I don't do it, like if I if I take this one away, as you saw earlier, Harpuya just there we go. He just pops up. So that's why this is here. Let's make sure it's the way it was. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure I didn't touch it before here. And this one's more funny, this one right here. Like, I mean, you can see it right there. It's just a tilted square. <laughs> I have a tilted square for only because... Well, let's show what happens without it. 
So keep an eye under, like, behind the Dark Elf. Yeah, the the to the spiky parts of Zero's charge attack <laughs> cuts off, and it's the only part that cuts off. Um, and I tilt the square of justice. It, it's, I mean, it works. So, wait, what? Huh? Oh, oh, I get it. I put them a little too far ahead. Yeah, so. Why do I have it appear? Like, yeah, that's a little early there. <laughs> oh, I see. I have it here. Yeah, this is like it. This is more like it. So when he slams, never mind. Um, what? <laughs> Let's just go back to how I hit, how I had it. What? That is so weird. Why do I have it like that? Oh. Wait. I have it at ten. Why is it like? Oh, now it's in the middle. Oh god. Um Yeah, so it just uh, the, the reason why it's tilted by the way is because the dark elf just just bounces around floats around. So What? What is how is it even supposed to be then? Well, it's a good thing I noticed this because. Like, do I even need to have, like. Uh... I should have it only when it's slammed. Yeah, like that. This is so weird placement right here. No, it's still it's still there if I have it here. What? I'm going to I'm going to fix it later. Um How do I make sure I remember? If I put it here, so it just appears here. Will I even notice it there, though? Ugh. Let's put it during the white. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna put it here, so I... There's no way I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. <sighs> I do have, um... I have, like, for some parts... <laughs> black for a black screen. Where's mm, zero one, zero two, three, four. I have some. Um... Yeah, well, it's mostly to make the intro easier, so the text boxes don't show up during these parts. I did the same with um, these guys appearing, because it's not so much with this one, because it's still dark here. Yeah, here it's more, makes more sense, because you see Leviathan's shadow appear. It's just to make it like... Yeah, you can see... Ah, why do I for forget his name? He's the coolest one. It's a shame he dies as your one, though. Where's X? It's gonna be towards the end of zero. As I've s titled them, zero end one and two.
This one is... I don't know, maybe I'll make the thumbnail this and just add the logo and such. Alright, I've... Do I save it? Have I made any changes here, or is it like... Because I saved it right before I started the stream. I'll save it, just so I remember what the square here. Alright. <laughs> We're finally getting to the game. Almost an hour in. Uh, I had a two hour long nap earlier. <laughs> like, early. <laughs> early afternoon. So I hope that'll be enough rest to go on for like a couple hours with this. Ugh. How the hell did I manage to reach the second dungeon? Like, in two hours? That is unheard of with. Oh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot louder. I hope it's not too loud. Let's switch it to this. Alright, Genie. Son of a gun. I mean, he does... He does take one heart every time he hits you with the fire flames. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to accidentally pushing <laughs> the pots again. Now I just have to avoid damage. And already. I'll say it again. If there's one change I could make to this game, it would be to remove this here. Or at least remove it after you have this. Because that's pretty much how it works when you have the... the like, they have it when you have it equipped. Why not after you've gotten it? Ah, so dumb. Feather. Ooh. I love this. Uh, it really is a shame that... Damn. It really is a shame that... Rock's Feather never really came back. I mean, I know that Rock's Cape appears in more games. But that's like a glide thing. I guess you can jump with it. It's just a silly somersault jump, and I love it. It's so, it's so cute. You won't take hearts from me, I take your heart. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't switch, because I do need this part right here. Um, seeing this thing have a face reminds me of the boss from Oracle of Ages, Head Thwomp. It's pretty much a thwomp with four faces, and they just spin around. It's pretty much like the urn in Goron City, the one I failed miserably at when I streamed Master Quest. I took forever in doing that. Well, it's because I always go with, for it without bombs. I go back and forth picking up bomb flower. <sighs> Alright, hit it. Yes, 
say your thing. Gosh darn it. It didn't look like he had eight of them. I can, I can avoid enough to like only get hit once on each of these. I'll be, I'll be fine because I think it's only three throws. Um. There we go. Oh. I suck at this. It's mostly like turning from the wall. Yes, I get it. Right, don't touch the wall with the sword. Oh, he dodged. No, never mind. Mm! Wait, I can hurt him now? Make me hopping mad. Uh, I have no clue how this works now. And I hope... Oh, he still does so much damage. Just die, please. I don't want to do this again. That is pretty brutal for only four hearts. <sighs> you know, this game really could use fairies in a bottle being a thing. Uh, the 2D games are harder than the 3D ones, though. Conch, cool. waiting. Hey, Bow Wow waited for me. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, now I can explore more. That's my lovely Bow Wow. Do I get to have him through the whole game? No, I've seen... I haven't seen enough footage with him around, so I'm pretty sure it's not gonna last much longer. Sucks, I've gotten used to him now. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I shouldn't wander off too far. I need to keep track on where I am. Prairie. Exactly what prairie is. <gasps> oh, I could get the heart. Heart I couldn't get earlier. Yeah. I'm... Wait. When did I get a bomb? Oh. And I still fall. When the hell did I get a bomb? I like how the dungeon themes. Ah, taking it unnecessary damage. No! Damn! 
Oh, come on. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. there. So are all rubies blue in this game? <laughs> Damn, Bow Wow. Oh, of course, this issue is with this one too. Uh, I, I just hate seeing heart pieces out in the wild, and... Like, I have... It's probably because I'm so used to playing Zelda games where I know where most things is. Things are. Because I'm... I've played it before. Uh, it's like that with Zelda 1. Not so much Zelda 2. Link to the past a little bit. Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Yeah, ages has been so long since I last played it, and God, this is such an annoying place to put a put some stairs. Um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask definitely. Is it really needed to have this fire enemy here? I died of enough last stream. <laughs> Had enough embarrassing deaths. Uh, Majora's Mask as well. Um, after that, Twilight Prince is, has been a long time. Skyward Sword, I'd probably remember... No, there's a way too much specific stuff you need to do. Spirit Tracks, that, that's one. Oh, Spirit Tracks, it's been so long since I played it. But I... But with Spirit Tracks, I pretty much played through the whole game having a guide on standby. <laughs> because, um... If you don't... It is heavily recommended. I heavily recommend 100%ing Spirit Tracks without, like, going for everything as you go through the game. Because there's just so much to go back to if you don't... if you play the game regularly. I love Spirit Tracks. Um, probably my f favorite 2D game in the series. Uh, Link Between Worlds, I probably remember some of them. Breath of the Wild, definitely don't remember. And Wind Waker, I haven't played Wind Waker in forever, and I, j I didn't really enjoy it, so... If I do get the game again, I'm gonna go with the GameCube. The GameCube version because I mean I sold my Wii U for a reason. I mean the only two games I can see the Wii U like being worth for that they haven't ported yet is Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Wind Waker HD is more understandable because Twilight Princess HD isn't isn't much of an upgrade. It it looks very similar to the old version, which I already own on Wii.
Oh! I have that uh, ribbon. I'm Crazy Tracy. Uh, I can't promise not getting stuck. But... Will you give me... For my secret? Sure. I've applied my own secret medicine. When you lose all hearts... Ooh! Damn! Why does she have two blue rats, though? I love this. I'm definitely gonna... Um, remember this place, because... Yeah, with how frequently I die... <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna pay off a lot. Uh, where am I on the map? Okay. Prairie. What is a prairie? Bears to say I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I have. Well, I had bombs. Was there a specific enemy that dropped it? I guess I'm supposed to go here. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a prairie. Dig. Oh, I do remember seeing a shovel. In I have enough for the shovel. Okay, next objective. Go back to where I got the bomb. Then go back to the village. Uh, get the shovel. Then the first dungeon to get the... Bombable wall. <laughs> then go back here. Uh... So I'm guessing this is the swamp? Yeah, it's the swamp. So, why is your question mark? Oh, yeah, the nerd. <laughs> Uh, that's not the shop I was thinking about. And there's the first dungeon. <laughs> there it is. No. Then it should be here. I love that name. Meow meow. There it is! Town Tool Shop, aka the place where the sale. Um, the, the shop owner kills you if you steal from him. Oh! Well, that's good. Now I know what a prairie is. Um, do I need a refill on. No, I don't. How did I get here? No, it wasn't here. I didn't come from down there. Yeah, it's definitely over here. Oh, I wanted to throw it at him. Find an enemy to drop bombs, or did I pick it from a chest? Maybe? I don't know. I have no clue. Yeah, 
Yes, I get it. Yes, I need a. I need six more instruments. <sighs> Mount Tamaranch. Wreck, I mean. Can't that just bust it open? That has to be where I'm gonna fight the dungeon with the anglerfish. What? Alright. What? What is going on? Am I in a different dimension or something now? No. I'm going way to the east. There's no way I can get there. I already have four things to do. Oh, I can't get side sidetracked like this. I'm gonna forget what I'm gonna do. Oh my god. I don't mind taking half damage, but man, the text box. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you drop bombs. Alright, come over here. Yeah! You have to drop bombs. Dang it! No! <laughs> there better be... Better be a fix to the text box problem. In the remake. I have no clue. Then again, knowing how Skyward Sword ended up... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... They didn't improve it much. If at all. Maybe made it worse. Okay, I, I got it from here. That I know. Damn, Bow Wow. Uh, huh. Was there even anything down here? bomb from? I need it! Why did I use one of them? The one I had. So stupid. I got rupees from here. Dang it! Oh my god, where are the bombs? Probably got it from a chest in the second dungeon or something. Is this fire enemy really needed here? That was a close one. <laughs> Bow wow. No! I'm out of here. Uh, I guess I... I guess I cancelled my plan. My plan to get go back to the first dungeon then. Well done. The village it is. I don't 
get it. Where did I get the bomb from? Why did I... Maybe it was from here? I don't know. It makes sense if, like, it was from a specific enemy, or... <sighs> I need to keep track on what I'm doing. Maybe... Maybe this fish here? This way. Go back to Crazy Maisie or whatever her name was. Oh, I was hoping I could get both of them. Well, there's the nerds place. That was nice. I'm honestly surprised we don't hear Lost Woods here. Oh! Yes! I can go through here now, I'm pretty sure. I hope at least. I'm gonna have to re-enter here. Really? Oh, there we go, there we go. I don't have to do an annoying puzzle here. Just having one extra heart is gonna do a lot. having to switch to the feather for how much I love love it as a whole. No. We're leaving. What's down here? I'll feel powerful without Bow Wow is getting a stronger sword, I think. Because if I get... If I... Ooh! I can open... I can go here now. Oh, I hate the teases, man. Oh my... Why? Why you gotta tease me like this? This is a very tease, teasy. It's a goodies seller game. No! Ah, oh, sure, I'll take the upgrade, but I'm definitely gonna take this. Please be the fourth heart piece. Good, it's bound to happen. Oh my god, I don't want... I want a bomb! I want my bomb back. At least I'm faster with this upgrade. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Can I pick up the, the chickens now? Hey, I'm probably gonna have to do a... What? Oh, damn, I chucked them real far. <laughs> awesome. Okay, the shop should be up here. This is a gold mine for any ten year old who wanna do chores for money. Here we go. I'm not here to steal. He has bombs! Oh my god, I can still do this. I'm not gonna steal because I know the the consequences. I mean I have enough that I don't mind spending this. I hope you're fine with me bringing my dog in here. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, walk back in to see if... God! Damn! Now I understand why... Why it's popular to rob him. Jesus Christ. I didn't even know you can could go for that much. Carry that much, I mean. Oh, I can go in here too. Why would someone block block an entrance in a village to a place in a village? Those rocks. So cool. How do I how do I take care of this guy though? Oh. Do I oh. Alright. Oh I'm I messed up. He's not gonna go there now. Okay, now he will. Dang it. I mean, the shy guys from earlier died if you attack them from the back, so... Okay, there we go. Oh! Oh, oh, I can't help but feel like I'm like... This is... An assassination. I mean, you're literally... I don't know how that worked. <laughs> Oh, I just I just realized they look like penguins. I don't want to kill them now. <laughs> they look like those gyroid things from Animal Crossing cross with a penguin. Maybe they just die from a spin attack. Uh, let's find out. Damn it! <sighs> well, now I can experiment. Okay, so it is a spin attack. That's good, at least. Now I understand why there's breakable blocks here, because you're gonna take some time standing still. Who are you guys? I love charging up a spin attack and then walking backwards. That's more like it. This is so weird. I want this reward. Because I know it could be a heart. Another heart. Uh. Dang it! Okay, it's mine.
Damn it! No, I'm not happy. I wanted a piece of heart. <laughs> now I have to go back? Is there a shortcut here? Ugh. Wait. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. Why is this here? Is it just to skip the whole part if you have the right item for her? No clue. Alright, I got the shovel. Let's head to the first dungeon. So I can place the beak. Oh! I see, so there's another reward. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Bow Wow, are you waiting for me? Uh, no. There's no point. And they... That's what I'm saying! This game is full with teases. I can't think of another Zelda game that's teased me this much with unlockables or goodies. Um, so how does Bow Wow work? Can I just pick him up? So I don't get this. I I haven't seen enough like whenever I see gameplay of this game, I don't see Bow Wow with me. I hope you don't mind me this one here. <laughs> uh, do I just put him here? I'm gonna lose access to him. Oh, wait. Can I... Now I want him back, damn it. No! Bow Wow! <laughs> Why? Aww. What have I cool if you could, like... Maybe they would make it so you can, like... Can't go into dungeons or specific... Caves or something. I don't want to talk with you. I want to cut this bush. Did I check in here? Oh yeah, this is a tutorial room. Yeah, that's what I was, what I was getting at was a more free way to use them. Oh well, I'm good on my own. What did I even get from the beak in the last dungeon? Yeah, every single dungeon theme up to this point is just a cave theme. Just different variants of it. I like that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one that just gets really loud near the end. When it loops again. Here it comes. One more. Yeah, this is what I kept in mind. I wonder if these guys show up later in the game, because... I mean, I killed... I killed a big one. In this place. It makes sense for them being here. Wait, what do I do with the beak then? Please be a hard piece. Does it keep track of how... Oh, it does keep track of how many. Okay, let's check through each of the owl things. Because I didn't get... I didn't get, um... There we go. 
I didn't get the owl beak unlockable or whatever. I don't even remember what I got in the last dungeon. I know it's not this one. Oh, don't worry. Oracle of Ages is easy to talk me to this. Dang it. such a small part of the game, yet I love this. Uh, this is... And I went here for nothing. It must feel so weird going from, like, the Game Boy version to this version. And vice versa. Colors and no, no colors. It must be really weird. Okay, it's not up there. Oh yeah, this is a room I hated. No. So we're in the next place, it seems. Yeah, I hated the room with the three enemies I had to time. I died in there like three times. Just being frustrated and trying. I think I failed over a hundred times. Just trying again and again. Because look at this. They move around pretty quick. And... Memorizing is... No. Because it's so fast. You said that in the previous room, and there ain't... It shows that I have the beak. This is where I... Oh, my boss. <sighs> I guess check the start again. Let's teleport to the beginning here. Never mind. It's not in here. It shouldn't be. God, this is grim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. other section. What the hell, man? <sighs> I don't get this. It's not in here, and this leads to a room I've already checked. When I found the right one in the last, in the next dungeon after this, um, I just talked to it and gave it the beak. Yet, I've looked everywhere in this dungeon. I haven't looked, like, up there, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be there, because there's a railing on both sides. Yeah. This just leads up to... Okay... 
Apparently there's uh, supposed to be a room I checked. I've checked before in this dungeon tonight. Here to the left? Oh. What's that? This is literally the only place where... Move a stone block. Yeah, it's only here and then here. And this one says the same thing as the other one. So one of them is... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna guess it's glitch or something. <sighs> well, I got... I got the... seashell from... the bomb room. Interact with these. Okay. No, I lost Bow Wow. He told me. He told me. He told me something. That's the reason why I got the shovel because he said like dig, dig, dig somewhere. Like, how am I supposed to know without without him? Like, obviously I know the specific one he said it, but how am I supposed to know more? <sighs> I'm just gonna head there and try it. Nope. What is down here now again? Oh yeah, this is the beach. Octoroks were so cute in the series, they were adorable in each game, and then Ocarina of Time comes out and makes them hideous. Then again, that, that had... Octoroks aren't the only ones that got ugly. Like, look at, look at Wisrobe from the games before Majora's Mask, and then look at him in Majora's Mask. Dear God. Now I get why you have robes on in the previous games, because you... Ugh. Speaking of which robe, uh, it, it's pretty stupid how you fight him like five times in the game. Twice in the snow Snowhead Temple. Uh, once in a can of castle. Uh, once in Stone Tower Temple for some reason, because that place didn't need, didn't have enough mini bosses. I'm pretty sure it has four mini bosses in total if you count the eye. Um, the eye, laser eyeball, golem dudes. I mean, I guess it's a mini boss because it does give you the giant's mask. Oh, they are they are the the ugly blue guys with the staff. Dear God, did they make them hideous? Um, the fifth one is more the fifth one is more um, quest wise because it's like. It's in the Kana Canyon, like behind a waterfall, where you where you fight you fight a, a mini boss from each dungeon and then get a heart piece afterwards. It is a great place to farm rupees because I'm pretty sure you get like fifty per fifty rupees per mini boss you beat. And it is fun to fight. Garo Master and the eyeball thing from Great Bay Temple. Wart, that's his name. <sighs> Can I get this one here now? I was 
good thing I went up here, because I'm pretty sure I can lift this. I just need one more, dang it. <laughs> I, I remember how... Like... Like I said the last stream, if a Zelda game has a lot of dungeons... <clears throat> there's just gonna be less, like, heart pieces from quests and such. Um, because, I mean, a number of dungeons, like, 8 to 10, compared to, like, 5 to 6. Because you do get a new heart container for each dungeon. And I guess they wanted to fix that, because, with Twilight Princess, because, um... Oh yeah, those guys. <laughs> It is a little stupid how you can check the minimap and just see, make it obvious which one is the real one. But at the same time, it is hell. It is. It is a welcome addition because you fight the same guy like, as I said, five times. Uh, what was I talking? Oh yeah. Um, for Twilight Princess, I'm pretty sure they realized. They wanted to go with many dungeons and a bunch of side quests that give you heart pieces. So what they did for Twilight Princess only is have five heart containers or heart pieces you need for a heart container. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only game that has that. Also, I'm pretty sure Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks don't even have heart pieces. You just get heart containers. Because there's just so much else. Like, so many other collectibles that, that they give as a reward. Isn't that how it was in every game up to Link to the Past? No, Link to the Past started with the heart pieces. Yeah, because Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 definitely didn't have pieces you get. They weren't really focused on collecting items as much as it is like... <sighs> I mean, Zelda 2 makes a lot more sense because it's not much of an exploration game. Heck, you don't even get... You don't even get bigger health bar from defeating the bosses. There's a level level up system. Um where am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to go to where the grave where you see a grave. I didn't mean many graves. even the right way. No. Because it's next to the witch's place. Which I know goes downward. But I looked downward. It does, there's no way to go down there. 
And that leads to the swamp. Down here? I can't... Ah, these crows! That's a graveyard. Where am I even going? Screw you. Here? Yes, it's here. It's here. Um. Yeah, it's over here. Jump here. Can she heal me? Wait, I don't even get refills. I am maxed out, though. Alright. <laughs> We're finally here. Yeah, Bow Wow just kept saying, dig around this area. Oh yeah, these are the guys that infinitely respawn. Just don't use... That's what he was referring to dig. Ugh, why not? <laughs> what even are these supposed to be? Like... I'm honestly surprised there are so many enemies, like... Regular Zelda enemies, just random monstrosities, and then just good old Nintendo Mario like enemies. hate them. <laughs> no more flowers for you. There we go. There's nothing here unless I need to push it. I can't even look at it. looks very... It did say prairie, and I'm pretty sure this is the prairie. Yeah. Alright, this should be towards the next dungeon. This. For once, it's not teasing me. I just need to throw a bomb. Oh, please don't do this. Mm. There might be some way to shatter it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. No, it's too long. Why didn't I wreck see that at first? I'm so stupid. Oh my god, the teasing! I hate it! What?! What?! You lied to me! They lied to me! Oh, go to the prairie. Yeah, I did. Unless there's another prairie. You know, probably is. Since I. Do they really need another ghost enemy? I don't get what that is. Are supposed to be bows? Uh, I guess. 
Yes, I can't use it because I don't have the bow yet. Ugh, I meant to say arrow. Okay, I do have one. Yeah, this way here. Did I even look down here? This is where these... Where I first saw these guys, so... Where I need to go. Another one of these. There's a wing up the rock. That's awesome. What is this way? Oh, it's the graveyard. Cemetery, my bad. <laughs> Same thing. I don't get what the telephones are for. Let's try this one. There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole. <laughs> Pothole Field. That's all I can tell you for now. I can't jump that far. <coughs> Rocks keep um, teasing, I see. Oh, that looks very dungeony. Why are there so many signs here? I, f I feel like I'm going too far again. Uh, sure. Are you kidding me? Why would you have a hidden pit? Frogs! Can I talk to him? I have to check every bed after seeing that. Who are you? By the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. What castle? Is there a castle on this island? Why? It's an island. The key to. Cuckoo Prairie? Oh, Cuckoo Prairie. Let's make a deal, shall we? <laughs> it looks like the frog is on his head! <laughs> I already have a shovel. Wait. Salutations. Yes, I, I'm only interested in the last part you said. We already did the deal. Uh, behind in the castle when I fled. I'm impressed. There are five leaves in all. Remember to buy a shovel on here. Cool! I did that on my own. So... Oh, this is Richard. Cool. Okay. I feel like... I feel like I've passed so many paths. Oh, oh god. Yeah, I feel like I've passed so many pathways. 
I hate doing that in games because I know I'm gonna have to check. Uh, uh I could have. I just don't like leaving paths not checked. Because Aegis has um, a different time period, so there are changes. The seasons has the seasons and like an underground world. Wait, doesn't doesn't Aegis have something like that? It would be weird for one of them to have like a hidden part of the dungeon. What is this? get back here if I jump down there, so let's... <laughs> I love doing spin attacks with air. Okay, let's check down here first. Oh my god, I've... I've moved... I've traveled so far since... Whoa, 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 what? Just away. I want to read this sign, damn it. 50 paces? It said 10 earlier. Alright, I'm here. You know. Rock's Cape. Is named Kiki as well, I think. Cool, he made it in this game too. Uh, where am I even going anymore? How am I supposed to go into the castle? I don't even, I didn't even read what the what Kiki said. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna have to go back to the banana guys because they are far away. They're down at the down at the beach. I don't wanna travel that far. Oh my god, get Oh, I'm gonna have to go back there. I've tra I've backtracked and traveled enough, damn it. Better introduce a shortcut. Oh god, I'm gonna have to go to the forest again. For a fucking banana? Oh my god. <laughs> the struggles of Link. I just keep exploring new areas. I don't like that. I'm just... 
Ah, oh, I'm not gonna memorize as good as Rock's Cape again. There's so much I'm just passing through. Rock's Cape again. That's definitely a reference to Mermaid Statue from Denmark. Yeah, Scandinavian reference. I'm done with that. <laughs> you don't want to get close. This hurts. Oh my god, I haven't even checked. I have to travel, like, just to... Okay, so, what I need, where I need to go is here. But I have to travel all the way around just to get there. You know, I'm usually against, like, warping games because, I mean, if you can fast travel to anywhere you want to go, like, that defeats many, much of the exploration. <sighs> like, it can be used in, it can be used in good ways. The Link to the Past did something, like, good, where you have to keep track on where you teleported, unless you teleport through, like, find self. That was close. Ah, that was not even fair! I'm about to die again. Do I go this way? Yeah, in this instance, that's what I was getting. <laughs> so far away from where I was. Yeah, I understand it in this aspect. But, like, do you need every single shrine in Breath of the Wild to be a fast travel location? Or, like, just so many in Twilight Princess? is kind of fine because you do travel a lot by sea until you get the fast travel one and you do need to fast travel to a specific location to get an upgrade. Oh my god, I f I hate that I'm seeing so many places that I'm I don't recognize gonna have a hard time, like, like, remembering, yet I keep get seeing, I keep seeing heart pieces teasing me because I don't have the right item. I can't explore so much, yet they're always hidden away in, like, caves. Let's talk about let's talk about the N64 games. Um, like it is it is surprising how how little use Epona gets in both Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. In Ocarina of Time, she's pretty much stuck in Hyrule Field, and Hyrule Field is just an empty void. Wait. Awesome! I didn't need to get go through the forest again. 
it's not as bad as I expected. <laughs> oh yeah, the Bow Wow. Uh, Amadurus Mask. I mean... You get the Gora Mask before you get access to Epona, so... Why even bother? <laughs> Oh yeah, Twilight Princess was the definition of a void, like, empty overworld. Oh yeah, I should have remembered this. Dog food! Oh, that's adorable. You know, that looks like a control stick <laughs> in the text box. It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's because the black part made it look like it. Uh, you know, everyone goes on about... Skyward Sword having like, oh, no exploration with linear design, uh, which is big areas connected by thin exits leading to another bigger area. But that that started with Twilight Princess because I mean Hyrule Field is just six parts. Um small corridor-like areas leading into each other. It's a lot less noticeable, though, because there are big areas. But there's, like, the biggest area is so big, and there's, like, three things you can get in that entire part. Like, even the first part of Hyrule Field, you can get all you need to get in that area in under a minute, I think. I remember hearing that from a review of the game. Okay. You don't look like a dog, but sure. Jesus Christ. How was he able to open it so wide? He just ate the can as well. You know, I expected this trading quest to be more... To be like, uh, the big Goron quest, where you get, like, an optional reward that pays off. This was before Ocarina of Time, though. I don't know. Big, the big Goron sword quest is just... Defined trade quests in games. At least to me, it did. Actually, what's in here? Oh yeah, this is this is Martin and Tarin's house. I do have to say though, I I Oracle of Ages is um the one the game I game Boy Cell games I I haven't played in the longest time. Cause I played seasons a bit. Um Here. Yeah, even though Ages is the one I haven't played in the longest time, compared to the with these three games, 
I still fondly remember that village. That game. Okay, this did nothing last time I tried it. Oh! So now it works. Damn, that was quite far. I'll definitely use it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I didn't check this area. Please have a hard piece I can get. For once. I can't. God damn this game and its thesis. Unless I can bomb those with bombs. Okay, if, if I can bomb these with bombs, I'm gonna go back to... Okay. Um, if they were bombable, I wouldn't be able to go through it, because I'd use up all my bombs. Instead, I would head to the sleeping room, because that only needed one. Oh, thank god. You know, this game really doesn't... Like, if you looked at Link to the Past and this game side by side... I mean, they're very different. Oh, cool. Sorry, Ganon. Because I guess it was... It looked pig-like to me, so... <laughs> Yeah. Damn, before Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, there was no... Like, every Zelda game would look different. Um, Zelda 1 and 2... ...looked the most similar, I th And... If you'd ask me, cause... Both were, like, 8-bit. And that's it. I like this, so... It's perfectly, totally understandable with, um... Where am I supposed to go now again? Oh yeah, the castle. perfectly understand why. Oh! Please have a piece of heart. Ah, oh, this game and its teases! It doesn't stop. See that animal finish, damn it! Oh. Okay, it was up. Uh. Okay, this does look familiar. What? Seashell mansion. Ooh, ooh, I have, I have seashells. What? No joke, I for real thought. What the f- Are you kidding me? Oh, the first reward is- is another one of these you're collecting. I've, I for real thought that I was moving from there. Like, 
the bottom part there. Like, I didn't see Link over here. I saw... I... I thought, like, he would appear... This is such a weird... Just... This is such a weird... Perspective change. Well, it doesn't look like there's gonna be a crazy amount of shells. So that would've been nice if it would've given me something better than another shell. It's gonna be a secret. Use your sword to poke dungeon walls. Ah, that's actually pretty, pretty good, pretty nice advice. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was nothing like. Hey. I'm pretty sure it was nothing like that in the last two dungeons. Except the bombable wall, but that one was obvious. Hey, it's Kiki. I'm here again. He speaks the language of the banana. First, I thought that I was gonna. They were gonna be the bridge. Like something like the monkeys in Twilight Princess. Where they group up to make like a swinging rope. <laughs> I got a stick. Can I use it as a weapon? Oh, that's the next trading item. <laughs> I wanted to walk over monkeys. This works too. Huh. Yeah, that's not it. That's not a good sign. The Royal Guards being enemies. Oh, that's okay, that is pretty cool. think about it. Goombas? Or whatever they are. They've only appeared in these sections. Oh, awesome! It goes inside, too. I love that! That is so cool. Yeah, I can definitely tell this one has more lead-up to the next dungeon. The second dungeon was just take your bow out to the swamp. There you go. This one has a lot more build up. Wait, can I climb those? No. And of course, because I'm me, I I want to check out everything else around. Me. They didn't even try to make this one different from Link to the Past. Except this part right here isn't behind the walls. This is like, like. In the length of the past, this would be the inside of the castle right here, and this would be the entrance. These are just extra walls. I think this game is trying to one-up the last game. <laughs> what? You're harmless? I don't trust that. Yeah, I, I knew it. Oh, cool. <laughs> I just murdered a crow for a feather. Oh, come on. Alright, looks like the rest are gonna be in the castle. <laughs> I love how these look. Ah, oh, it's so cartoony. 
Those are called anti fairies. That's the wrong item. This is just what I need. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. No! God damn it! I can still use some fairy though. Because this is the time in the Zelda series where you. Wait, what game was it that. Maybe that's. That didn't change. No, it had to have changed. I'm talking about... Um... When they... Went away from respawn with three hearts, no matter what. Um... Did Ocarina of Time do that? Maybe it's like... Went with half instead? I have no clue. Maybe it is just refill with all parts. They have it located here, though. Sure. Hey. Oh, I'm so stupid. I mistook those. They look. They look similar. Damn it. <laughs> wow. This is just one useless area. There. Well, hello there. I like how you go up on the castle in the Link to the Past, so I'm happy to see this here too. Alright, only one way in. Which one of you? Oh, cool. Which one of you is it? One of these is not like the others. Is this seriously gonna be the last one? Say get get a shovel here, but this is just floor here. I think I know what I'm supposed to do now. But I can't drop them though. Ah! The thing that'll let me know if I can, if this is. No, I was thinking you had to push these. This is like a specific one I need to. 
be something out here, because I don't know anything else. jump to it? I go through here. <sighs> this leads nowhere, anyways. What am I supposed to do? This is all there is to this. Why is this one back to me? Take out this guy here, maybe he drops a feather. Hey, it's a game of whack a mole. And he won. <laughs> Dang it. Finding out where to go. 
Um. Oh, the hive, of course. Yeah, for overworld stuff, just throw everything my way, but dungeons? Yeah, I've... I've mastered Oracle of Ages. Master Quest. Cool. <laughs> well, it's gonna be my third example. <laughs> Those are the two hardest ones. Uh... Zelda 1? <laughs> that game is hard. Feels like the that's fitting second quest. I don't know though. I mean, when the games are talked about, they say most say ages and seasons. No, they're pretty much fifty and fifty. I kind of want to revisit Ages first because I'm more familiar with it because I've eaten it. I should just I should just check here. It's probably mentions it. Pothole field. That's probably where I'm gonna need to go actually. Still, what a name. reached my length of the last stream, but I may have been tired. I may have been tired last stream. Oh man, did I do good progress. <laughs> I reached the end of the second dungeon. Um, I probably did, did start uh, playing the game an hour in, though, so I guess another hour make it like yesterday. Still, I haven't re entered in the new dungeon yet. <laughs> it is a bit of more fluff for this dungeon, though. A lot more exploration involved. I think there was 
was the shortcut this way? <laughs> but they're an enemy! Their main po the main point of enemies is to take them out. I never thought of an enemy so cute that I just left it alive. If they're pretty much harmless, then yes, I don't I don't wanna kill them. But I'm pretty sure that I, I've died to one of them twice. At least once so far. No, it was a green tree looking area. I kind of want to see what was this way. Oh, the graveyard. Uh. What's over this way? Nothing. This is what I'm saying. I've gone through so much. Such a short amount. Why did I go here? This probably has a heart piece here. Okay, as I see it here. Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to take this way. Head here. Is this here? You son of This game is This game is just so mean with its goodies. Oh you're craving for another heart? You you really want another heart piece? Well too bad, here's more rupees. Like I'm at four hundred and thirty-five. And when you actually get to see a heart piece, it's just there to tease you saying, ah, you can't get this yet. Ah. Uh, where is that damn beehive? I still need to go down here, though. Wait, this is the dungeon area. Let's just go back then. I don't know where I'm going. I didn't go down here. This might be it. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. This is the guy's place. And I went a different area, a different way for a reason. Oh, you can go into the fields from here? Again, it's teasing me. This game really likes teasing me. And it does it with pride. Cool. Poke. Uh... The stick is not an item.
<laughs> well, that does sound like something he'd do. Hey, I see you got a stick, though, sir. Would you mind giving it to me? What are you gonna use it for? Business? <laughs> I mean, he is. He did turn into a raccoon earlier. in here. Probably another tease. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. This shouldn't be far from... Yeah, it's right here. Alright, Tarin, I'll give you this stick just so I can make progress. Just remember, don't poke... The bear would just stick. It's better to go with, um... It's better to go with... Bees in that case. I was okay with your prizes before. Now, though, no. You changed my mind. What even is up here? Oh, it's another way to the village. I said before that I didn't want to steal from him, because I know the consequences. We're starting to see why it is so... I'm starting to see why people do it. <laughs> like, the shovel was a reasonable price. I was just at the shop, why didn't I buy bombs? I'm so stupid. Where... Ah, oh, where is that? I just want to go in there. I'm tired of exploring. I want to do puzzles. <laughs> Why is five leaf quests? Let's go down here. Oh, another tease. What a surprise. Uh, I'm pretty sure you left there, because I've gone through there quite a bit going through the forest, back and forth. Today because I'm starting to feel drained again. I mean, can you blame me for going through all exploring like half of this just right after the second dungeon, pretty much? That's a little bit, that's a lot to like take in and remember. Memorize. I did only rest for like two hours as well. Graveyard? Maybe 
that's the reason why it took me here from the prairie. Let's look back at the prairie then. Okay, this is the house. The fairy boost. Yeah, I just immediately assumed that I need to give her the bow. What? Yes, sure. Best way to spend rupees in this game so far. I I used like a sixth of what I have, so it's fine. <laughs> More than fine. That's quite the steal. Uh, the economy of Hyrule or Zelda in general is just. Pretty dang, yeah. Oh, voice crack. It's pretty dang. Um. Pretty dang welcome with options to get money. three hearts. Actually, I haven't checked on this one. So there's not something under there. Why would he leave this place and go back, though? I'm not gonna judge. I mean, I know his artwork shows him, like, carrying mushrooms. The cover of the game. Maybe he is a mushroom guy, because that's what got him into becoming a raccoon. I only want the speed boost. I lost it! Damn it! here. Yeah, he was standing right here. Jesus Christ, I've checked everywhere. Except, the, like, the top area, but... I want to go back there. Oh, I said the castle, but I've only found three feathers. No, only two! No, three. And I can't go through to the big ball and chain guy. Uh... Well, 
good on me for not getting stuck the same way I did um, for Dungeon 2 last stream. Here I am with the pro same problem for Dungeon 3, but it's more understandable because it's just more of, an, more of a quest to reach it. You know, if there are stairs leading back up, does that mean I I I hit my head and tumble down the stairs? So I, so I, oh, okay. So he, it's not part of the current quest. And it's the damn feathers. But I checked everything. I killed every enemy outside. I took the crow. You know, this guy's supposed to be in a rocking chair, but to me it looks more like he's cowering with his legs curled up. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, you're right. You know... I really have... I really... <laughs> to go for another short stream, but I'm feeling a little tired and the game isn't helping much. Oh my god, why? Damn, it is about to be 11. <laughs> okay, how about this? Uh, I should be fine. I should be... Free. Three, uh... Around late afternoon when I usually start. So I'll rest up more than I did today and start like I did yesterday, but actually sit down for a couple hours instead of just getting so drained. So pretty much stream one like I wanted. Just playing for hours. I did start pretty dang late today. But my mom was coming over with food, so I couldn't help it. Yeah, because I really don't wanna... I really don't wanna go through... Just different paths. Like... If you look at the big map, I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten squares. But the thing is, they, they don't lead like from anywhere, it's just different paths the whole way, so it could like be double of that. And that's not counting me going the wrong way. <laughs> Well, at least now I know where I'm supposed to be. Hmm. 
<sighs> well, this is a fitting place to... Wait, how do I save? <laughs> how do I even save here? Uh... It has to change the screen size. Is it... Do I need to... Do I need to die? Maybe it's the bed? Do I seriously need to die for, to do... to save? That is stupid. Even Zelda 1! The first game! Then again, that had another issue of... If you... If you decide to save... There's no way to go back. I think, at least. Meaning, if you do it, do it on accident, there's no way to return. My death counter has to, at least, has to be over 20 at this point. You'll be the, you'll be the one to brag about back to your Oxrock friends that you took out. The Hero of Legend. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the link from Link to the Past. Oh come on! I have. 22. Oh, great. There we go. That'll lower the volume a little bit. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. It is pretty weird how... Um... The timeline starts with Skyward Sword, which looks pretty dang good, even to this day. And, like, Zelda 1 and 2 are, like, far into the future of the Hero Falls path. I mean, looking at the game, it sure doesn't look like the future and the past. Oh, so it's another sauce reset. Eh, that's still a little annoying how it's so specific. Then again, if you get. If you bring up the option to save and sell the one, again, there's no way to go back. Or maybe that was only for. Uh, the GameCube Collector's Edition version. Rambling. Mm. Oh yeah, I've noticed some of my amiibos are getting dusty. The ones I use for three hopes that I still haven't placed back. Like you can, you can definitely tell with Byleth's black design. He's more gray than black in some spots because of the dust. <laughs> well, speaking of which, I really, really hope they don't mess up the amiibos with um, the next Fire Emblem game. Amiibos in general are painfully underutilized, and it sucks. I just want, I just want, I just want a similar way to Three Houses where you unlock music from the previous games. 
And I want it for a Fire Emblem game because I have all of them. I mean, other than the Fire Emblem games, I only have two remaining other amiibos. I used to have uh, Wolf Link and Dark Samus, but... Eh. I mean, the only use I had for Dark Wolf Link was... Uh, his save data having 20 hearts when you summon him in Breath of the Wild. But he really isn't much of an addition in Breath of the Wild. And Dark Samus is just a decoration. Which is pretty much what I have my remaining two and the Fire Emblem Amiibos for. And that sucks. It sucks that they just have so many amiibos, yet... <sighs> like, I can't believe... The main function they have, they are known for, is for being... Trained AI... In Smash? And that's what they were introduced with. They haven't topped that at all. And again, that's typical modern Nintendo, though. Alright, I'm done ranting. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna... Make it, um, make it more cozy by turning off the lights. Give Nemo some attention by pets and just hugs. Maybe give him a little treat. And now I'm gonna go f go to bed. Well, in my case, it's more go to couch. Because I've slept on a couch for the last... Three years? I don't even remember when I moved out. Oh god, in my last apartment, I had a perfectly fine bed. Like, it was very... Very, um, modern. Like... It was a good quality bed. And I slept in it tw only two nights. I mean, that is ridiculous with, like, me s living there for, like, a year and a half, I think. Maybe two years. And only two nights I slept in the bed. <laughs> That's how it is when you have... When you're on the couch... more than any pl any place in the entire apartment due to the TV having... I don't know, I've gotten grown used to having like my laptop next to me when I'm sleeping. Like, on the couch table in front. Oh yeah! I did some, uh, I did some cleaning and like setting up my wires and such, and I realized I have no joke. Let's see, how many consoles do I have around me, like within within a meter of where I sleep? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven if you count the Game Boy Advance, which is uh, on the small drawer next to my couch. Seven if you count the SNES Mini in the bag I haven't taken out yet. 
wait, no. The Game Boy Advance was in 71. That means 8. I have 8 consoles. <laughs> Yeah, the ones I have are my 3DS, Game Boy Advance, and SNES Mini, but they aren't really powered on. Uh, PS4, which I really should have just placed it um, where I have consoles I don't have connected or ready. Jesus Christ, I was on the PS4 for like three years, just getting on every day, and now I'm just... Last I was on it was X Legacy. I do love having the three consoles of the generation I grew up with, like my favorite console generation. I don't know what number it is, but pretty much Xbox, PS2, GameCube. <laughs> I have all... I have the three next to each other. Uh, there's my switch on the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't get me started on consoles in general, because I have like... Jesus Christ, I have more consoles close to me, like, near my couch than I have not close to me. That is insane. I do go- I do jump from consoles quite a bit with my streaming, though. I mean, I mean, there's a reason why I have the Xbox and PS2, like, still here. PS4 is more like maybe I get back to get the urge to go return. But there's a reason why I still have the Xbox and PS2 ready because well, for PS2 um I kind of don't want to spoil it, but I have I have a game I've ordered two games, one for Xbox, one for PS2. Uh, I'm probably not going to head into the PS2 game immediately when I get it, but I'm definitely going to head into the Xbox game as soon as I can, because... <laughs> you want to know how you can tell? The, these my two Xbox modded Xbox cons consoles have been used so much and are old in general. <laughs> like when you press the eject button for the discs, they don't come out. Both of them are stuck with disc. There's both the disc trays are stuck. And I was looking into maybe fixing that, opening up, cleaning the consoles a bit. It turns out, um, I need a specific bigger version of a screwdriver I already have. It's pretty much the same one, just bigger. So I'm gonna see what my dad, when he comes back on Sunday. Because I remember my first, like, 360 red ringing, because it was a white early one. And he got it to work again for a little bit. So he, that means he, he opened up the Xbox 360, and I'm pretty sure the 360 and the original Xbox have the same screws. Meaning he might have a screw that I or a screwdriver I can use on these consoles. Yeah. All right, enough dragging this out now. I'm gonna close off now. 
<sighs> what stupid word can I save to end this? Fuck it. Meow meow. <laughs> <laughs>